Well, Stephen, you must be happy to be here because when you signed a week or so ago, we thought that might not be the case, but uh, you're eligible for tomorrow's game. Yeah, it comes a nice surprise to me yesterday, uh, being told that I'll be, be travelling and be part of the squad. So I'm excited for the game tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to it with a, with a good lead, but I can't afford to start sloppy and uh, it's an important game. As you said, it is a good lead. You got to watch that game, if not playing it. What were your impressions of that first leg against Vitesse? Well, very much like uh, like last season. I thought the boys got, got the ball out from the back, passed it around, around very well. I had a lot of intensity in the play. Uh, it was an imp- impressive performance. So hopefully we'll be, uh, be looking to uh, do the same tomorrow night and uh, go home with, uh, with a win and through to the next qualifying round. The manager said that he's going to treat it almost as if it's nil-nil. I guess that is a mindset that you as a group of players have to share. Yeah, that's the message he set to us today in training. Um, that you know we're coming here to win the game, so there's no thinking about the the three 0 last leg. It's just uh, coming here to do the job of the night and uh, hopefully get into the next round. And for you, if you do manage to get onto the pitch tomorrow night, I guess that's a, a great opportunity for you to play some European football as well. Yeah, it's like I said, uh, when I want to sign, it's been a few years since I've played in the Europa League, so it'll be, uh, be a good opportunity and uh, I'll be looking forward to hopefully making my first competitive debut for, for Southampton. Obviously, it's a new experience for a lot of people at this club, a lot of us, but as you said, for you, you've had a taste of that with Spurs. What were your, your memories of European football there? Well, it was, uh, it was an enjoyable one. It was actually one that we come, we got quite far in it. We just got knocked out to Basel uh, on penalties, I think it was. So it was, uh, it, was, it was a great competition and it's sort of underrated, I think, a little bit in England. So, you know, make, make no mistake about it. The teams that we play in it are good, are good teams. It's a, good, it's a different type of football and uh, it's an enjoyable one for the, for the fans and us as players as well to, to get a taste of, of foreign football. A lot of people are starting to notice that here at Southampton we're, we're taking the competition quite seriously. The manager's been very serious about it, the players are as well. Is that quite refreshing in a way? Because as you said, sometimes clubs can be a little bit apathetic about this competition. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I'd say that you know, abroad it's taken taken seriously, so there's no reason why we shouldn't do the same in England. And it's, it's a good opportunity for us, like I said, to, to get a taste of, of European football and uh, it's a fresh and exciting challenge. How are you as a group of players looking at the prospect that obviously you do play tomorrow night but then obviously you've got a a Premier League opener on Sunday against Newcastle. What's the balancing act like there? Yeah, it's a quick, quick turnaround. So um, I think we'll stay here Friday night, uh, sorry, Thursday night and get, uh, get rest and recovery and then back to the back to Marchwood to, to get the training in. So it's going to be uh, important for us over the course of the season, obviously, that we, uh, we rest and recover in between games because it's uh, going to be uh, a, a long season. On a personal level, it has been a busy first week, I guess, for you at the club. How have you found it so far? It's been good. I've managed to get away without singing so far. So, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, pretty sure that'll be coming tonight. So um, I look forward to it. It's been a good good bunch of boys so far and uh, settled in really well. Does this help getting a little trip away like this? It's not quite a full pre-season tour or anything like that, but a couple of nights away does help you bed in, surely? Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, you know, it helps you, obviously, settling with the boys when you're when you're travelling. And uh, like I said, it's been like, really easy to walk into this, this, this change room. You know, it'd be a great, great bunch of boys and very welcoming. Obviously, you've got 80 minutes on Sunday, so that must have been good for you to get back out on the pitch and actually start to, to feel that side of things. Yeah, it felt good. And just to obviously um, get a taste of, of what the manager wants from me because um, I've not I've not played that style for, for two years now. Um, so it was a, it was good for me to, to sort of understand his message in the changing room and uh, go out there and, and, and hopefully do a job for him.